Well, well, well. We've all voted. We've all found our clues. We've all talked to everyone. Does anyone wish to make an accusation? Go ahead, but be ready for the accused party to have an alibi. Hmm. I'll pause here and select a few people to make an accusation. Go ahead, we're waiting. Okay, it's now time for me to reveal my conclusions. And they're pretty good conclusions, if I do say so. One, the murderer needed to have a good motive. All of you had a motive to kill either Pop de Keg or Captain Lucy. However, once we realized that the murderer wanted to force the victim to tell who the treasure map was, or where the treasure map was, we realized two more things. One, the murderer needed to know it was Pop down in the cellar, since the captain wouldn't know where the map was hidden. That eliminates Forest Mate and anyone else whose only motive was to kill the captain. Two, the murderer needed to not know that Pop's map was fake. Or otherwise, why bother to choke the hiding place out of him? That leaves only Betty Bounce and Bo Sun as suspects. Hmm. Someone hold Bo Sun and Betty Bounce. Don't let them get away. It seems, could it seems pretty clear that the murderer had some special reason to use rum as a murder weapon. Mm -hmm. Betty was upset that Pop shared what she considered their rum, Dottie, with other women. And Bo was angry that Pop kept supplying the demon rum to the crew and knew that the treasure would only give Pop more money to share more liquor. That would seem to leave us with two possibilities. But remember, that the murderer needed to be right-handed, which leaves only Bo Sun. I accuse you of the murder of Pop de Keg. Confess. All right, there you have it. Good job, everybody. You did good. Bo Sun, have a drink.